Welcome, friends. It is I, Earth's Last Garf, and it's time for the one shot. We're playing Sunless Sea. I have spent already 10 hours on this game. Okay, so this game is interesting. It's got some roguelike to it. It's got... This game... It's a exploration game. That's really what it is. Exploration at sea. Now, if you know what Fallen London is, you're in for a treat if you enjoy Fallen London. If you don't enjoy Fallen London, you're not in for a treat. Now, the game is slow as molasses, but it is very tasty. Now, that's that's the best way to put it with this game. It's it's a lot of fun and it's exploration and the stories you, you run into, but it's slow. It's quite slow. There's a lot of reading, but it is a fun game. I have spent way too much time playing this game already, and there's no way I wouldn't if I didn't like it. And I think the best way to describe the game is uh, it's like Skyrim or Fallout 3 in New Vegas at sea. But the locations are random every time you play the game. So we're gonna go ahead and go here, gonna make a... gonna continue. I just got my character killed so that uh, we could do a new character so I can show you how the game starts. And it's like a roguelike, so you're supposed to die a lot, as is per the norm in a roguelike. So here you start the game. I inherited uh, this officer from my last character. And let's see here. Okay, so you can choose your past or you can be a stranger. And we're going to choose our past. And now we have a home somewhere. So, you can choose your past. You can be an urchin, a poet, a veteran of the campaign of 68, an ordained priest, and a natural philosopher. I should explain London. So, um, London somehow sank into the earth and is under the earth. And there's a sea under the earth. So, London is is an island under the earth on an ocean under the earth. Uh, so we're in a sea that's underground and there's other islands with stuff going on as well. And the sky above us isn't a sky, it is, well, it's stalagmites and stuff like that because we're under the earth, basically. So yeah, so that's why it's all dark and stuff. We're in the undersea, that's where we are. So you can be a street urchin, poet, veteran, ordained priest, and a philosopher, and each one has a, stat, a bonus to one of these stats. Iron lets you, like it says, destroy you, hit you, do more damage. Mirrors helps you with detection and perception. The quicker you find firing solutions in combat, so the sooner you can attack is mirrors. Pages helps you with uh, the speed at which you convert fragments to secrets. So that's for uh, leveling. This is this is like the uh, you get you get to level sooner stat right here. And you got veils, which is good for speed, stealth, deception, decrease the range at which enemies will spot you. And then you got hearts, inspire, heal, defense. Sometimes helps with tests around terror. Yeah, in this game you have your fuel you have to worry about, supplies for food, and terror. The longer you're out at sea, the more scared your people get. Also, the choices you make in the stories of the game also affects terror, and holy crap with that. Now we're just going to be we're gonna be a hard hitter, so we're going to be a veteran. Being a veteran, you inherit this shady uh, cook. And we get all these stats from that. Now, as you play the game, there's going to be situations that will be affected by each of these stats. You have a percentage in how well you can do with them, depending on what your stats are. And you can level up your stats by talking to your officers, but I'll show that in a second. So, you can have your, your ultimate quest. This one is finding your father's bones and burying them in London. Fulfillment is basically doing a lot of stuff, and wealth is just being rich. I always do fulfillment, which is really hard to do. I like fulfillment. You can be a madam, sir, citizen... My lord, my lady, or captain, how you want to be addressed. And I'll just be sir. So there we go. And then you get to pick your portrait. So these are some pretty cool portraits here. Good silhouettes. I like that one. That's a good one. Be a Medusa. Be like Sciency or all these other ones. There's some pretty good uh, portraits going on here. Now make your guess as to which portrait I'm going to choose. And I believe Jinx guessed one of the top hats. But I went with this guy. Who doesn't want a drunk captain, right? Onwards, men! Don't worry, this is grape juice. This is nothing bad. This grape juice. I am leading us the right way. No worries, guys. No worries. Okay, here we go. My title will be The Greatest Scarf Ever Known. That's my full name. The Greatest Scarf Ever Known. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, there you go. So now we're starting the game. There's a lot of reading in this game. So, these are the things we can do right now. We can go to Labyrinth of Tigers, which is spooky. Or we can go to our lodging, and we can learn the news. Now, the way this game works is there's a lot of currencies in the game. There's a lot of things to think about and focus on. Echoes is the currency in the game, but then you have all these other things. And you got you have to fulfill requirements to be able to do things in the game. If you ever played Fallen Lending, you understand this already. But 
There's just, everything is clicking and t making choices of things you want to do. Like here, I want to hire some crew, so it's going to cost me some money, and I can only do this when I have less than a full complement. So, there we go. I succeeded in my hearts thing, and I gained two crew and lost 30 gold there. Yeah, like right here. Yeah, here. No, no, right here. Low risk. 81% chance of recruiting people because my heart's at 27. If I had really bad hearts, then it'd be harder to recruit people. And I can take on this one. An immigrant will pay to be taken north to Vanderbright. So, I don't have any immigrants right now. And uh, this is an objective, so there we go. So now I now have a tomb colonist. This is a person that's... So this person wants to go to Vanderbright, which is a, a home, a place of, well, like, mummy people. And they want to go there. So, they're going to be inside this tomb, and I'm going to take them there. So I'm taxing them to... The Vanderbite, uh, colony. I mean, place. And so that's all stuff I can do. I can go check out the Admiralty. And this is basically a place to kind of have quests and stuff to reward you for doing things. The Admiralty will want you to go to a specific place. Right now they want me to go to Gator's Morn in the Corsage Forest. So that's a dangerous place they want me to go. I go there, I collect intelligence, I come back, I sell the intelligence to the Admiralty and I make money. And then it'll give me another place to go to and another place to go to and another place to go to. It gives you some direction in the game. That's what it's for. But you don't actually have to do this, but it's a good source of money. And you're going to need money, because money is not easy to come by in this game, for sure. So go from there. Now, every port you go to, you can do a report on those ports and bring them back to London. And London rewards you with money and some fuel for every port that you visited and came back to talk about. And you can visit the ports again and again and again. So, as you play the game, you're going to want to do that. And I'm explaining a lot without showing the map yet, but... See, here's my cargo. I got fuel, supplies for food, and I'm carrying that one person. Curiosities is the various currencies or items you have. Here's my money. That's for playing this on Iron Man mode. This is a book of advice for beginners, and then I got recent news, and you can only hold one at a time. And here's the different shops. So different things you can buy at all these places. Things for your ship, things to buy and sell, oddities and stuff like that. And we're going to go ahead and sell the beginner book. I like that they give you the choice to do that and buy more fuel. Because we're going to travel around a little bit to show off the world here. I'm doing a lot of talking, not a lot of showing. So now we're going to actually launch this damn boat. Off we go. So our speed's right here, so you can go reverse or forward and that much speed. Shows our cargo, I like that. And this is our hull, how much it can handle. Bumping into things takes one hull damage. This is our terror. As that fills up, crazy shit happens. <laughs> Really crazy stuff happens. Also, the same thing goes for hunger. If you run out of supplies, it can be very dangerous. I don't know how to increase or decrease this bar here. Like, when it hits this point, you gotta feed your men. As you're going around, you're finding places. And you can affect your... You can affect everything. You can just mouse most of the things, except for movement. You can't mouse. But, um... You can have a Z uh, for bat, and the bat will go out. And it will come back and tell you of a location. Now you hit that, and there it is with map... That there's a place down here that the bat found. And here's the entire world. Big place. Now this first part right here. This is the same regardless of playthrough. This is always the same. The islands in these areas are always in the same spot. But the rest of the world. From what I can tell is random. I have seen stuff in very different places. That I saw in the previous playthrough in very different places. And that makes it very interesting where you're going to find stuff. And sometimes it's convenient to me. Like I found a really good trading post like right here. That made life very easy, and I made a lot of money. Next playthrough was all the way over here, so that just made my life not so fun with that. But there's a lot of different things that can happen. It's pretty cool. And the trip from up there and back down here, like do a full loop, you want to explore the first area, one hour. The one problem with this game is you feel so slow on your boat when you're traveling the places. And I think it's just meant to be that way, just for the sense of this... You're out to sea and just traveling around. But it feels really slow. Those who really like action and stuff... It'll, it'll kill you a little bit, the slow burn going to different places. But all but it's also intriguing and interesting, all the different things you can do, like this place. Hunter's Keep. Quiet Isle, a grand old house. A hub of darks, rock swath, and mist, like a hundred other undersea islands. So here we go. So you stand on the dock as the sea nudges the ship's sides. An unexpectedly warm breeze carries the faintest trace of lavender. So what do you want to do? Want to go straight to the house? You want to walk in the garden? You can take some sails with you and walk around. You want to... So this is where you do the uh, the report of the port. So you do this one, sea signs. Ships really come here, nothing changes, even though weather, the house is the heart of the island, the house and the sisters. 
but the Admiralty may be happy to know that nothing's changed at least. So every time you come here, you can report on this island and bring it back. Bring back this information to London, to the Admiralty, and you'll get some fuel for it. So that's pretty cool there. I gotta switch my officers. This guy's only with one heart. This guy's worth a lot more hearts. So, whoops. Uh, I did that wrong. So assign him. There we go. So you can have a cook, first officer, chief engineer, gunner officer, surgeon, and you have a mascot, and you can talk to your mascot. That cute, that's the ferret. And... crap. The attraction of reflection. The ferret admires itself in a mirror. The sleek fur of its leg, it rolls its lip to admire its teeth. Or is that what it's doing? Is it yawning or mesmerized by the terror, by the mirror? Impossible to say. I gained a terror for some reason for that. So there we go. I'm just looking at all your stuff. It's a lot of clicking around and keeping inventory of things. But every officer you have has a quest and a story about them. And you can talk to them and learn about them. So there's a lot of officers in the game. And I think they're adding even more. So that's pretty cool there. And when you level up, which is right here, uh, you can talk to your officers. And there you go. I can, I can gain one heart by using a secret, which is your level up currency. Let's go back to talking to this island. <laughs> okay, let's see here. So here we go. We can spy on the house. This place may not be as simple as it seems. So for 75% chance, we can spy on the house. Let's do that. And so we succeeded, so let's read this. Piano music drifts across the terrace. You peer through a half-open French window into a grand parlor. Grand in size, if a little reduced in style, by Dustin neg negle Neglect. A dark-haired, pale-skinned young woman bends earnestly over a piano keyboard. Another fair-haired, but unmistakable. I believe her sister sprawls on the sofa with a book. A third sits by the fireplace, staring sorrowfully into the embers. Soon, she says, and the piano music falters and stops. We'll go hungry, and then the end will come for me, but not for you. The pianist raises her eyes from the keyboard. Hush, if, you, if we don't speak of it. Uh, she frowns. Has she seen you at the window, you withdraw? <laughs> All right, so there we go. Now, this right here? is gigantic foreshadowing for something that happens later in the story. And, um... I've seen what happens. And it's interesting. Okay, so you present yourself to the house. So now we're gonna meet them. So we knock and enter. Made with smoldering, Topaz eyes shows you into the parlor with where three young women await. A visitor, the youngest cries. The next youngest chuckles, the eldest sighs. Do excuse the indecorum, she says. Visitors are rare. You are very welcome. I am Cynthia. The noisy one is Phoebe. Phoebe. The cheerful one is Lucy. You are good. You are in good time for lunch. Will you join us? So now you can join one of these sisters in having a meal, and this will reduce your hunger for your for your crew. They all they all get to eat, and each one gives a different bonus or bad thing. Phoebe gets gets rid of five terror, which is really helpful. I don't remember what the other ones do. So let's go ahead and talk to the dramatic one. So the dramatic one is really dramatic. Cynthia grasps your arm and whispers to you, her eyes are wide and blue, her hair is wild and tangled, bats might nest in it. It seems to you that you are sitting on a hillside above a wide blue lake, listening to a story of a murder, an axe, a net, blood on scented water. Another chop, Cynthia asks, you've barely touched your food, here, I'll have the maid wrap something up for you, you can't be hungry, it's not safe to be hungry. So, we gained a story which can be used as currency in this game, we've also gained one terror, crap, we've gained a supply... And we've gained, uh, let's see here, uh, nothing changed to our iron because we're already at 50. I think you can level up iron with her. Uh, we got something that apparently a god is looking at us. The salt god is looking at us now. And we're now acquainted with the sisters and we lost all our hunger. So there we go. So now there's nothing to do. Like we go here, like, no, no one's here. I can see it. Nobody's here. No one wants to eat today. But what you can do is you can use that recent uh, news we got from London and use it. And now they're back out. And we can talk to them again. So we can have another thing. So we can talk to the sis the middle sister. And we gain a different god's attention. And we lost our terror. And we gain more supplies. So that's something you can do here at Hunter's Keep. Is the sisters are very useful to gain some things as you go. Now I'm going to show this. So you can use the bat to radar and try to find locations. You can turn on and off your light with L. Or just clicking on it. When your light is off, it's harder for enemies to detect you. Like that boat right there. We're going to fight this boat. Right now, it doesn't know we're here because we're in the dark. If we turn on the light, it'll know where we are. So now we're going towards this enemy. And as long as it's in our range, this fills up. You can attack early, but you do more damage if you wait for it to... F you do, you're do. you better accurate if you wait for it to fill up. And if you use your light, way better. Bam! Hit it. There you go. 
So now it knows we're on its tail, but we're not in its attack range, so we can just keep pelting it. As long as we stay at its rear, it can't take us out. So this is the ship uh, combat. Right there, got him. If we fought him face to face, it would do damage to us, but we didn't. So now we get to loot it, and we're looting it, and we got some wine. All right, cool. As you saw, there were bats. We can also fight those bats. So we're going to go fight those bats. Because so I can get over there. Let's see, what's this? Oh yeah, when your hull is taking damage, you can use supplies to repair your ship. Only above 50%. Once below 50%, I guess you can't repair your ship for some reasons. You can go full power your engines. It uses more fuel, but you move a lot faster. You have a chance of blowing up your engine. Now we're going to fight these bats. Here we go. You want to keep them in your range. This time I want... Uh, I don't want the lights so they know where I am. Crap. Whoa. Reverse. Hit them. There we go. Now the bats will try to ram me. I got to make sure they, they stay away from me so I can just kill them. They were about to attack right then and there. Killed them before they could. And that's really attack the combat system in the game, at least when you first play the game. Now I can make them into supplies, but it'll give me terror, or I can just dump them and lose some terror. Right now, we're good on terror, so I can just take them so I get that. There you go. Now we're going to go north. So here, so I'm going to hit F, and you can see the temperature. Bam, I hit FC. We're going way faster, but we have a chance of blowing up the damn boat. I mean the engine. And the engine blowing up will kill your men. So there's another monster we can attack. That thing's... That's probably the lowest level thing to fight is that guy right there. And now we're almost where we want to be, which is Vanderbite? Yeah, Vanderbite. So here we go. We're almost there. Vanderbite! All right. We're almost there. Feel so slow. Come on. Come on. Come on. And we're almost there. Oh, yeah. When your light's on or off, I should mention this. When your light's off, your terror goes up because there's no light to make your sailors feel less scared. And when you go deeper into the ocean, the terror goes up even more, but the light will slow it down a bit. But when uh, you're in town, your terror doesn't go up, obviously. There's just a lot of things to manage, but when terror's up, things get crazy in this game. So we bring this person here, and for some reason, the, per the lady in the casket got drunk. And because of her high iron, she's going to fight us, but we're going to beat her easily. So we beat her, and she falls into the sea. Whoops. So we brought her here just for her to die, so that's... That's great, and we got we got her weapon, and we leveled up our iron a little bit, so there you go. That person's dead. So now we're here at the tomb colony of Vanderbite, and there's a bunch of things you can do here. Explore, Vanderbite, uh, let's see, we can talk to the first curator, gather gossip. Gossip is for the port report. There you go. So here we are exploring the place, and now there's a new, uh, there's a restaurant we can go to eat called The Vengeance of Jonah. Unfortunately, we can't do any of these things yet. It's too bad. But we can go over here, we can talk to the curator. Curity has a lot of creepy stuff going on with them. They are creepy as balls. Just clicking through this really quick to show just there's a lot of things you can do. Now I have a new quest. Just a lot of things you can do. A lot of stuff going on there. And of course, there's different shops. You can see the, the fuel is t like 10 over at London. Now it's 20 a year. Like the further from London, the more expensive it feels where you are. And you can... Apparently, you can sell recent news here for 10 money and stuff like that. And there's a tomb. There's a lot of stuff there. Now, we're going to go north to another area just to show that place. Oh, bats! Bats! Okay, here we go. Fighting some bats. They're going to... Yeah, they're attacking. They hit our hole. We took five damage for that. Go in reverse. Oh, jeez. Take it out. Bam! There we go. Killed the bats. And now we're going to use them for supplies. There we go. All right. And of course, you can see the map here. You can see how much we've done. These are the different ports we can go to. You can zoom in. You can zoom out. And when you zoom in, you get the smaller names. That's like the areas that aren't ports names, like Cant's Abyss. And there are environmental stuff. Like the buoys there, like I said, you get less terror when you're near those buoys because they're so bright. The snow here will slow your, sh your speed down to minus one and plus one. I'm going to speed up so we can go forward a bit. I'm trying to make the explosion happen so you can see that event. Well, now we're going to fight through the snow now. So you can see we're slower now in the snow. And there's not much we can do about that. Now that is something we don't want to deal with. That is a life berg. And if that thing hits us, we will die. So we really want to just run the hell away from that. But we're in the snow, so if that thing gets us, we're in trouble. Luckily it isn't paying attention now, so we get to go further. Further. You sense his arch. It's... is that looking at us? It's noticed us, but it's too far away to engage us, I think. The snow's slowing it down as well, so that's good. 
that thing hits really hard, and you can see it has 400 HP. I don't know if it's worth fighting that thing. Like, I have, I have died to that thing twice trying. It's not fun to fight that son of a bitch. Oh god, it is not. Beat up! Get out of the damn snow if we can. So now we found Wither! This is another town. I forget what's so special about this town. And we're going in. Going in here. Alright, oh, I, I forgot to go plus two. Here we go. Ducking! Now here's another place. You can see it's just a different place. It is a very cold place. We can gather intelligence like we did just now for the port report. We can explore the town. And in the town, we can eat some things. So let's try eating a... Let's see, 38%. And then this one, 38%. A jellyfish. And we... Failed! So we gained more terror. We did lose our, our some hunger, though. And that's all we can do for now. Like, you can't do everything. you got to come back after some time to do another thing. So you can't just go out and just come back in immediately. And that thing right there is going to kill me if I'm not careful. So i got to get away from it. Yep, we got its attention. We got its attention. There's the codec. This is a random place. It is a silly place. Oh, good. It's looking to attack, but we're just too far away. Codec is another place you can get a port report. And I don't know what you can actually do with Codec yet. I haven't Codex yet. I haven't done much here. But it's a place you can do things. Yeah, I have not unlocked a Searing Enigma to, to figure out what the hell you gotta do there. Running away. Put up my engine again. So yeah, consuming a lot more fuel because I have put the fuel up uh, higher on the temperature. And it just pushes you forward a little bit faster. And now we're just gonna go deeper into the sea. Ooh, that looks like a fun bow. Oh crap, that'll kick my ass. Okay, going away from that. Going away from that. That will destroy me. Go down here instead. You can hear the music's changed because of the location we're in. Is this... Oh, good. We found this place? This place is cool. I like this place. We have found a name I don't remember right now. St. Palmstone, I think? Mount Palmerston. Yeah, here we go. So, keep going here. More fuel. Burn it. Get in here. So, the music... There's some pretty good music in this game. It's very subtle uh, when you get them, though. Most of the time, you're just out to sea with the quietness of the sea. Slowly, slowly making you lose your mind. Here we go. In here. Woohoo! So we can check out the Mount Palmstone, and we can go and explore the island, chat with the folk there, get the port report, explore the island. And we can look into our future, our past. Or we can just look at the sea. Where does it end? Look into our future. And we lost two Terra thinking about the future. Cool. Ah, oh, because I didn't go up to the ma- Ah, oh, crap. I want to show the mountain, too. We can dig for ruins. And we were fortunate. We did gain terror, but we also gained some soup, apparently. And we lost some fuel. I mean, some, some uh, supplies. I meant to do another thing here, but I screwed up. I wanted to go up to the volcano. But I messed- Yeah, I can't go there anymore. My bad. That's unfortunate. My oh, yeah, also we should buy fuel here. Fuel is cheap. We can also... We can't sell the soup here. I used all my money because I don't intend to survive. Okay, so we're going to go as deep as we can. And just show off more of the game. And then we're going to die eventually so I can show the end screen. That's my plan at least. Going out further. And then, yeah, the, here's these things. Here's maelstroms. These are so cool. And you basically... It won't kill you if you go into that thing. But you can try to use it like Han Solo. What you do is you go into it. Go with it. And then go past it and you get a little speed buff. Boost. Ah, I did it wrong. Did it wrong. Nope. Nope. Did it wrong. There we go. Too bad. Get going here. Ah, oh, here's a sea monster we can fight. That's really strong, though. Whoa. Well, it froze for a second. Okay. I don't think I want to fight that, though. Boy. No, 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 no. Let's just keep going. Show off more. It doesn't have... It doesn't... Okay, it did notice this now. So we can fight this thing. It's got to keep it in, in our range, but we want to have it in the lights if we want to have a better shot. But there you go, we hit it, and now it's looking at us. And... like like fighting a bull. It's going to chase you, you just got to put it in the right spot so that it can't hit you while you hit it. Ooh! Oh crap, that was close. Toro! 
Toro Krabby! Oh crap, what? I don't, oh crap, oh, turn around. Ooh! No! 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 Ah, my ass! Okay, he did 10 damage. Yep. Um, this is a bad spot to be. Yeah, I took a hit there. In the future, you can get other weapons that you can use to shoot from the sides. Like, from different areas. I don't know if this is all you can shoot from, but I know that you can get an aft gun. And I'm using a deck gun. There's a forward gun. Oh, crap. Here it comes. Speed out. Okay, got away. Woo! I'm to get in range of it. Get it in range. This is very dangerous being this close. Okay. Get a shot and run. There you go. Hitting it. Moved it away for a second. It's coming, though. Ah, I got hit in my ass. Run! Combat is a bit bulk, uh, clunky. Combat is a bit clunky. Oh, crap. Didn't get away. I'm gonna die here. I, uh, I made a horrible mistake. Oh, crap. Ooh. I can get it stuck in the rocks. I could probably kill it. If I shoot early, I won't get a perfect shot, so I don't want to shoot. Oh, crap! I thought it was stuck! Ah! Get it behind the rocks. But now it's behind a rock. So... Ah, I, crap. Crap. There we go. Still behind a rock, so we can't get a good hit. We gotta get around it and fire, and now run away before it hits us. Using rocks to our advantage. We're pretty beat up. We get hit two more times, we're probably dead. Oh, it's stuck on the rock. There we go. It's stuck. It's not stuck anymore. Crud! No! 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 Ah! One more hit and we're dead. Uh, three more hits and it's dead. Oh, God. Spit full speed this way. Ah, crap. Getting away. Getting away. Doesn't have an easy shot right now. Hit it. Run, 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 run. There we go. Now there's a rock in the way, kind of, so I can turn around. Okay, put on the brakes. Here it comes, here it comes. Speed out. Ah. Oh crap, get around the rock. This is not good. Not good. Not good. Look, just because I'm a drunk captain doesn't mean I'm bad at this. Okay. Fire. One more shot is all I need. Oh, here it comes. Oh, crap. Okay, good. Didn't get me. Okay. This is it right here. Full reverse. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Got it. Woo! Got it. And I am beat the hell up. I gotta find a place to repair my ship. And we can either butcher it, or we can try to dissect it for XP. 33%. Forget that. Butcher it. So we get a supply, and we also get these un... Pre -pro unprepossessing mass, which you can convert into more supplies. There we go. All right, we did it. We're okay. We used a lot of fuel in that fight, though. That was not a good display. Like, you unlock more weapons, but I don't have any weapons yet. If, like, you unlock different ships to get more weapons, basically. And right now, this is the only uh, ship I have. It's pretty expensive to get the other ships. It takes a while. You're stuck with this boat for quite a while until you get better at the game. And get other boats. You're putting the fuel up. Burning through fuel. Oh, uh, if that thing hits us, we're dead. That thing does 8 damage. That jellyfish also does ramming attacks. Or jellyfleur. Ah, oh, crap. It sees us. Oh, crap. Keep going. See, it stops. Now it's going to try to attack. So it's attacking now. It's just too far to hit us. And you do like bullfighting with that one too. It's a bit easier to fight that one than the crab was. Like you can hit it and then move right around it as it's going at you. That thing's still on me. Crap. Want more fuel. Oh, Nuncio's a funny place. The story here is pretty funny. You do like looking through new story stuff, but you need certain equipment to get through the whole story. You have to go back to London to get the stuff you need if you don't have it on you. And you saw there's a statue there. A statue holding a rat up. I believe they use rats as currency. It's a funny place. It is a silly place. I guess I should stop there for a moment just to show it. Over here. In here. Right. Nuncio! 
Do not return, sender. So, the thing about this place is why it's so silly is because they're all a bunch of postmen. And they care about mail. And it's weird. Like, they care about mail and... And, and, and stamps. And you have to make your choices in what you say to these people to progress the story or screw up your, your run in the story. There's a lot of interesting stuff that happens here. You can ask why the currency consists of rats. What's the big statue about? Listen to some tall tales. If you listen to tall tale, you see now you're a newcomer. But you're starting to have friendships with these people. You can get, ask about the currency. You're Now you're a newcomer. To ask about the hairless postwoman. Why she's hairless. And you lose some... She didn't like you asking that question. And big statue in the center. What about the big statue? Now they like you again. And then you can ask to actually work at the post office. The thing you can do. Let's just leave here now. That's just stuff you can do. And there's a lot of stuff you can do on this island. And like a lot of the islands just have different story stuff you can do. And then of course like you have your office. There's like tons and tons of stories to read and play. This is definitely a reader's game. The action is interesting, but it's, I don't know, it's not for, uh, it's not a fast-paced game. It's a really fun game. I found myself just sitting down and playing for a couple hours of this game. It's just really addicting to me. I just, I'm just really fascinated by the exploration of the stories you can find as you're going. And what? Ooh, a rat barge. Uh, you know what? We're going to die fighting this because that thing's going to kill us. Yeah, we're on our last boat thing of fuel. We got to kill this boat for fuel. Oh, they're stuck where they are. They're a prime target. Oh, nice. So they're they're stuck. Because they're stuck, we're just going to have our way with these rats. And eventually take their fuel. Poor rats. Yeah, rats in this world, uh, they, uh, they have technology and everything. And there's stuff going on here. There you go, just keep shooting these rats. Ooh, oh, random encounters are so rare. A chunk of grit baked into your ship's biscuit. You crack a tooth and curse. You crew chuckle, but when the object turns out to be a diamond, small and badly flawed, but a diamond nevertheless, they all hush. Diamonds are sacred to stone, one says. Give it to the sea, to the sea, Captain. It'll be luck for us. Hang on to it. Now this choice could be bad for us, or this choice could be good for us. We'll do the careful thing and throw it into the sea. We lose terror. The gods are not angry with us. And we know something about the gods. That's what happens. Now, we could have the gods pissed at us, which might not be fun. You know what happened when Odysseus pissed off Poseidon, so... Stuff happens. And just keep going here. Poor boat. Just totally... This is a gift right now, because we need fuel. Hopefully they have fuel. I've been burning fuel on purpose, though, to get out here. Just to show more area. Did not intend to survive this... This... This, uh... This journey. And... You die. There we go. Take their stuff. Poor, poor rats. Scuttle the boat. And we get... No fuel. Oh, we are screwed now. We are screwed now. So what we can do is we can do this. Desperate times. We can use supplies to search for supplies. I mean, to search for fuel. We can use two to get fuel. Or we can gamble one. And we have a 50% chance. So we can coin flip it. We can make a sacrifice to get fuel. There's a lot of options to do. Well, let's go ahead and do... Make a... let's see. Hmm. Make a sacrifice to stone. We now have one fuel. You have one wound, at three wounds you'll die. So we made a sacrifice, we wounded ourselves, and I took one wound. I need two more wounds to die, though. The greatest scarf ever known. <laughs> and if all your sailors die, I think you just die. Oh, is this the Sea of Lilies? This is the Sea of Lilies. Burn our fuel. So the Sea of Lilies is a place with frogs. And this is a story point for a crewman. So, and you get a lot of stuff for doing that one. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. This is a very dangerous place I'm heading towards. This is the heart. This is Khan's glory, yeah. And that's a Khan ship that does not like me. I'm dead. One hit from that and we're good. Oh, no. Our ship blew up. I mean, our engine blew up. We lost one hole, but our men survived because of our hearts. But that boat needs to hit us once and we're gone, so we need to run away from that boat. This is Khan's heart, I think. Here, it's Khan's heart? No, Khan's glory. Khan's heart is there. Oh, we ran out of fuel! So now we're at the mercy of the sea. Also, this guy's shooting us in the back. Yeah, we died. If you have a will, you can, uh, you can make a will at London and your will will be given 
can uh, give stuff to your heir, which can be your next character, but we don't have anything, so we die. So we can choose our legacy, we the fifth captain to die, blah blah blah. Okay. So when you die, there's these legacies you can do, which can be used for a future character. I don't know why it says sleep. I don't know why it says that. So here's what's cool. You can pick in uh, an inheritance for your next character. So you can make your next character a rival of your current character so that you can take their weapon if it was a really good weapon. You can be the pupil, so you get 50 of their money, which was zero, so they don't get anything. Then you get 50% of the mirrors. Salvager, same thing. Shipmate means we get to take an officer, and I like taking this guy because he's actually expensive to get. Or a correspondent where you get... This is the most interesting one. If you find a map loadout that was really good, like if you get just a good setup where something really useful is nearby to London and not really far away, you might want to do this where you get to keep their your last character's chart, which is your map. And with that, you're in a better position. That is my understanding as to chart, is you get to keep their chart. That's pretty good there. Let's just do this one to be sure I'm not wrong. I'll just lose my, sh my cook and do it another time. So there we go. Whole new legacy. And just checking that would be a stranger this time. I just want to see something really quick. And that is this. Yeah, see? You get to keep their thing. So the world's the same. That's that's what's going on there. I made a weird thing like that. But there you go. And there. Yeah, that's the game. That is the game right there. I explained a lot. And I probably could explain the game even better, I'm sure. There's just so much to this game. I highly recommend the game. It's very fun. It is just really interesting. The game is... Okay, so my bad. The game is $19. It's a really good game. There's so much reading and they're adding, as you can see, new stories available. They're adding more stories. So that's cool. It's like you can see in the bottom right. Content is complete. More free updates coming soon. Because the thing about Fallen London, it's also a browser game. Fallen London is a browser game. And it just has a freaking ton of stories to just read and enjoy. And it's really fun. I played it for a while. And Sunless sees the same thing. They added more stories to the game uh, with free content. And on the 16th, they're adding even more content to the game. So they're just adding more and more stories. I'm assuming more islands to explore. So there's a chance an island you found last time will not be in at this time. At least that's my assumption. Or maybe new officers for stories. There's a lot of potential to this game. And it's just so much fun. It is a really fun game. I know it went long with this, but the game is a bit slow and it takes a while to explain everything because there's just so much to explain. And I know I didn't even explain maybe... I explained maybe 60 or 70% of the game. There's a lot of things to explain in this game that I just cannot explain uh, without showing it, and it's hard to find those things. But it's a really fun game. There's a lot of mystery, a lot of exploration. This is a game for people who really like exploration and really like just reading fascinating and interesting stories and ideas especially in the setting of the fallen london it's a very interesting world and i enjoy it a lot i'm be playing this game for oh my god i don't know i'm easily going to be put in at least maybe uh 20 hours by the end of this week i don't know how much more but i just i'm addicted to this game i really find it fascinating these different stories it's just a lot of fun but that right there is the one shot i had fun with if i'm watching and that's what's all about is it having fun thanks coming by in See you next time.